to my channel this week I wanted to film a very highly requested video and that is my skincare routine. In this video I'm going to be talking about the products that you can use to improve your skin but I'm also going to be talking about the natural ways that can help your skin. If you enjoyed this video or if any of these tips help let me know in the comments down below or you can give this video a thumbs up and without further ado let's jump on to my skincare routine. Before I start, I wanna mention that I have two different routines, one that's like a daily, everyday routine, and one that's kind of like a weekly or every other day routine, if that makes sense. I'm gonna start off with my everyday routine because I do it every single day. To remove my makeup, there are two different products that I use depending on how much makeup I'm wearing. If I'm wearing heavy makeup or just mascara, I will use the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse Balm, and these balms and oils and butters have been really popular and before I got one, I thought that it was disgusting. I thought that using oil to remove your makeup was like rubbing the makeup in your skin even more. It's nothing like that. It actually breaks your makeup down and makes it easier for you to remove it. So when I tried this out, I kind of just fell in love with this product. Those were all the products that I use mainly on the weekends because that's when I wear makeup and then during the school days I don't. So I use my good old Bioderma Cellular Water. This is what I use to remove my light makeup and I really like this product because it does the job amazingly and it's very easy to use and it doesn't have all those nasty chemicals that other makeup removers have. After we remove our makeup, we need to clean all the excess dirt and disgustingness off our face, so we need to use a cleanser. There's one cleanser and one cleanser only and that is the Dermalogica Clearing Skin Wash. I think this is from their acne collection and this product is amazing all of these products are amazing but this has really helped my skin it cleans your face it makes you feel so clean and fresh and light and I love it. Something that I've been recently using is a toner. I recently received one from Pixie and it has my name on it so that's pretty cool but it's the Pixie exfoliating toner and it has glycolic acid which is something that helps your skin break down all the gross stuff and it gets rid of it so when I saw that I was kind of just like Hmm. So I tried it out and actually my skin has been feeling a little better. I use this after I cleanse my skin and when I wake up in the morning. I also only have one moisturizer that I use and that's the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I think this is their like daily moisturizer and I love this moisturizer because it doesn't leave my skin feeling thick and creamy. Like there are moisturizers that are so thick that it feels like you have like 10 layers of product on. It leaves my skin feeling really soft and really smooth. To finish off my daily daily skincare routine, I use the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This product is my holy grail. I love this product. I use this all the time throughout the day and it leaves my skin feeling so hydrated and so soft and alive. So if you're gonna buy anything out of this entire video, you need to buy this one. This is the product that you really need to buy. If I'm breaking out or I have a gross little pimple, I will use the Mari Badescu Drying Lotion and this is the pimple cream that all the celebrities and all the it girls use. I really understand why, because it really does the trick. I don't understand how this product works because during the night something happens and then I wake up and then the pimple's gone. So I, I can't explain it. You just have to try it out yourself. Now if you want nice skin, you gotta exfoliate. You have to exfoliate at least twice a week and it really does make a huge difference and I used to not exfoliate. I used to think that it ruined your skin and it made it hard and flaky. I was wrong in so many ways, let me tell you that. To exfoliate my skin, I use a spinny brush and you can find these anywhere. There are expensive ones, but there are also, you know, well-priced ones. What I do is I apply my cleanser at the top of the brush and I usually apply it on my T-zone because that's where I get my pores and this really helps with getting all of that gunk out of them and I know it's kind of disgusting but it does the job really well and you only need to do this like twice or three times a week so it's that simple. Now if you're not a spinny brush type of girl there are other options. One that I really like is the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant and I know it says daily. I don't do this daily but I do this when I need to exfoliate and I don't want to use a spinny brush. The formula is really cool. It's like a white powder and it becomes like bubbly but it also has those particles inside when you mix it with water and you put it on your hands and you rub it on your skin and it does the job which is surprising because you use your hands not like an actual brush 
but it gets everywhere, so I really like this. Moving on to masks, there are three different ones that I really like. The first one is the Dr. Jart Water Fuse Hydro Sleep Mask, and what you do is you apply this on before you go to bed, you sleep with it, and then when you wake up, you wash your face, and oh my god, this product is insane. It makes your skin feel so soft and it looks so glowy. Like you just got out of the spa, you were in there for like five hours and they did amazing stuff to your skin. That's what this product looks like after you use it. The second mask that I really like is the black mask and these are the masks that are the charcoal black masks that you put on your T-zone and you wait and then you peel it off and it burns like hell and it's so painful but it's worth it at the end of the day because you don't have pores. This is this mask and it's amazing but it's very painful. The last actual like mask that I use is the Pharmacy Honey Potion and this is also a hydrating mask. The formula of this product is really weird too. It literally looks like honey and it comes with a spatula and you take it and you put it on your face but then you rub it and it changes color and then you wait a little and then you remove it. It's really weird but it's a very thick product. It's so thick it kind of scares me and it feels disgusting when you put it on, but after you wash it, your skin feels really soft and glowy and hydrated. So I use this like once a week. I don't use this all the time. Kind of just depends on if I'm using those two products or if I exfoliated. It's kind of just depending on what other products I use. The last product that I will be mentioning in this entire video will be the Pharmacy Green Screen Daily sunscreen moisturizer. I use this product every single day, every morning, even in the winter, even on cloudy days, even on rainy days. I will use this because skin cancer scares the frick out of me. It seems really stupid to me that people don't use sunscreen every day because we literally have the ability to prevent something terrible from happening, but we don't do it. Like, it's not that hard to put lotion on your face. Just do it and you will not have to deal with skin cancer. That's simple. Those are all the products that help me have clean and clear skin. Now moving on to the tips that will improve your skin. First thing that I wanna mention, don't ever sleep with makeup on because it's disgusting and you will break out like crazy the next day. You should just avoid that for the rest of your life because if you don't, you will never have clean and clear skin because that just ruins everything, it, it ruins everything. My second tip is something that I know it's kind of hard to do for some people, but try to wear less makeup, or at least try to wear makeup with natural ingredients rather than harsh chemicals. There's so many brands that come out with products that actually improve your skin while you're wearing the makeup. It really does make a difference, you know, at least just try it, try it for once and see how it works. The third tip is your diet, and your diet makes a huge impact on your skin. I know it sounds crazy, but what goes in goes out and those things that go out are your pimples, your pores, your blackheads, your whiteheads, all those gross stuff that we all want to avoid, those are the stuff that come out from eating a bad, unhealthy food. The fourth tip is drinking a lot of water. Water is something that's amazing for your skin, not just for your skin, your entire body, and you really should drink a lot of it if you want to help your skin. It will hydrate it from the inside rather than using all these products to hydrate your skin. You can just drink a lot of water and that will fill in. So just drink. Another factor that has a lot of impact on your skin is the amount of time you sleep. And I didn't really believe this at first, but when you go to sleep, your whole body kind of just hits pause and it takes a moment to relax. So if you don't get a good amount of sleep, your skin will not improve because it's not hitting the pause. It doesn't have enough time to relax. So you gotta give it that time. You have to literally like live like the perfect person if you wanna have nice skin. Those are the main tips that I quickly wanted to point out. I know it's stuff that you guys are already know, but if you don't hear it constantly, you won't start implying it and I want you guys to apply it to your daily lives so you can actually improve your skin because that's what's gonna help. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! I love it. Like, can we get married? It's kind of weird. Last product that I will be... Yeah.